Hey everybody, Chris here at U-Joint. Wrapping up another RV today. This one came to us out of Colorado. It's a bit unique. It's the, um, I believe it's a Thor 29S. So it has, I'll show you. It's a toy hauler, but has a side door for motorcycles, which is pretty cool. So he's got his big adventure bike in the back. Uh, this van came from Colorado and it already had a two wheel drive lift on it from WeldTech. We took that off to give him some proper traction and a four-wheel drive swap. Also, custom spec springs, which will make it drive and handle uh, and steer better than it did stock or as a lifted two-wheel drive. So, standard recipe for our RV build, six-inch lift. Uh, we just spec the front springs. It already had um, 9,000, 9,500 pound uh, springs in the rear, so we left that alone. We just changed in the sway bar. Uh, in the back for a better, bigger sway bar. And then uh, up front, we did our normal six inch spring, stage two front axle with the RSC upgrade, 456 gears, Detroit True Track, big boy brakes, 14 and a half inch diameter F550 brakes with some 295 7017 Toyo Muds on Pro Comp wheels. He upgraded to our front bumper, our aluminum front bumper. Sorry, it's dirty. We literally don't have time to clean it. The guy's waiting for us to finish delivery. Uh, it's got rigid lights in the bumper, worn winch, front receiver. It's got our fair lead, nicely equipped. We also did our OBA system on this rig and an S-Pod uh, to control the lights and the OBA. Out back, we've got some 255, 85, 16 Toyo MUDs. There you can see the driver's side OBA port. Sorry for the shadows. I try to do these videos before the sun gets too high, but it's been a busy morning. Uh, stock wheels that have been sandblasted and powder coated black on the stock axle. There's another OBA port on the passenger side, and that is it. A couple more test drives, straighten the wheel, and this guy will be headed home today. So, if you think about a two-wheel drive lift, that's cool. Just realize that in my, well, I don't know. In my opinion, it's a waste of money. Um, if you want a better, if you want more lift, get four wheel drive. It'll drive and handle better. And you'll have traction. You can actually use it off-road. Email me if you have any questions, chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Or you can leave me in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Also follow us on Instagram. We post daily shop updates and Facebook. Have a great day. See you soon.